You know them as the before and after shots of cosmetic surgery. The sensitive pictures provide an inside peek into the final results of a nip, tuck, fill, or lift. The surgical pictures are necessary, but sometimes include nudity. And that's why extreme safeguards and specific protocols are in place in most plastic surgery offices to ensure privacy for patients. But it wasn't enough in the UK, where recently hackers stole almost 25,000 pictures from a plastic surgery clinic. Many of them showed naked celebrities and other British patients, which were then posted to the dark web. Confidentiality in general is extremely important in medicine, extremely, extremely important in plastic surgery, especially since we have such intimate types of photographs and information about patients. Plastic surgeon Dr. Brad Calabrese takes all kinds of precautions to make sure nothing like that happens in his office, from working on secure servers to using an alias name on the photographs. But he says the pictures are needed to get a good outcome. We do not do cosmetic procedures on patients if they refuse photographs because it is our form of documentation and it's so important to what we do. Now most of you probably know what these are. These are before and after pictures from plastic surgery. They're part of almost every procedure. Now surgeons say what happens to these pictures are really up to the patient. They can be tucked away in some personal file or they can be shared for educational purposes. Patients who are having body procedures done where there aren't any identifiable features, they're usually pretty happy to give consent. Dr. Richard Baxter says body contouring patients are much more willing to give consent to allow faceless pictures to be used on his website than those who are having a facelift. Patient comes in for facelift consultation, they want to see lots of before and after pictures, and they say, well, that's good, now you won't mind if we put yours up. Would you? Oh, well, no, I can't let anybody know I did this. Baxter says nothing goes online in a way that would be searchable without a signed consent from the patient. And in some cases, some patients are hoping for such a good outcome that they are asked to be part of the online community of before and after shots. I do have some patients that say to me, I hope my results are so good I make it on the website, right? Which means they're on the other way. They want to see their pictures on the website and they're excited about it. And that's why experts say the before and after photos are so important and help others understand what's possible in pictures. For the Plastic Surgery Channel, I'm Dawn Tongish.